Stick around to see how I came up with three crafts that are fun and simple and they are perfect for parent and child bonding. And they were all inspired by this book. So you don't want to miss these guys. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel it is cheryl the activity author and i am here to bring you a special book inspired craft video but if you don't know me guys hey i'm cheryl and i create easy kids crafts out of household items that are usually inspired by books created by self published authors because you know independent authors like myself we could always use a little bit more shine and i also create games and activities as well so if you rock with my content please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know every time that i post so now that we got all that out of the way, I am excited to tell you about a book that we've already had on my channel two times before, and this book is called Little Mr. Fix It. Does this sound familiar to you? Because it should, because this is my third time creating a book inspired video using this book. Now guys, if you haven't seen my other two videos, make sure you check down in the description box. I do have them linked. And look, you can click the card up top to see the first video where we made a train, a solar system, and a birdhouse using household items only. And if you already seen that one, you can click the second video that I made from this book where we made a flower pot, airplane, and a working pinwheel yes i said a actual working pinwheel so let me give y'all a quick recap on this amazing book just in case you forgot now this book is about little josiah and his dad and they're checking things off of their to-do list on a saturday afternoon this father-son bonding is happening while mom is at home relaxing having a little me time while the boys are out getting it done now will josiah and his dad complete all the tasks on their to-do list hmm i guess you're gonna have to grab the book to find out <laughs> so if you're looking for a book that promotes parent-child bonding and a lot of other fun fun unique things please make sure you guys drop down in my description box right now click the link provided and it will lead you to this amazing book now the best thing that i love about this book is the stationary products that you can purchase along with this book from Michaela's website now there are so many elements to this book and that is why i was able to pull nine yes i said nine crafts out of this book so you gotta check out my other two videos they're linked below and while you're down there in the description box make sure you check out our author Michaela and her social media pages so you guys can check out more about her brand and yes guys she is helping authors all over turn their hobbies of writing into a lucrative children's author business so definitely you got to get to know her if you're interested in writing children's books follow her her social medias everything is linked down there below so now you guys came to see these adorable crafts so i am not going to hold you up any longer let's go ahead and get to it all right, so there is a particular page that stuck out to me. This is the page with the globes. I'm seeing it more than once, so I'm guessing that means that it's time for us to go ahead and make this. So we started with some blue plates, and then I cut up little pieces of construction paper. You can also use tissue paper, or you can just paint it on if you wish. But either way, you're going to make the consonants out of whatever you like. This is what we're doing, and it worked out so perfect looks just like the world we did it on both plates now it's time to put them together so you can either staple them together but I want a nice clean finish so I'm going to glue them together if you want to hang this globe you can also use a piece of string to make a little tie at the top like I'm doing a little triangle glue that in there uh, and then I'm putting glue all around the edges and I'm going to put the plates together and that is it. So 
such a super simple craft that you and the kids will love look at her she is so amazed by this spinning around like a regular globe but in half the fraction of time and very easy all right so now we've seen this sailboat in this book right right here on this page i noticed that i notice everything so this sailboat i thought to myself would be fun to make especially with the kids and bonding so here's a fun activity where you guys can make a sailboat out of coffee filters so first grab your coffee filter and then you're going to grab markers and then some water and that is all you need i'm using a spray bottle that i got from dollar tree so have the kids color it saturate it all up with some water and then let it dry that's all you do and it's a really cute design where it looks like tie-dye almost in a sense but it's a really beautiful design another way you could do this is if you uh, use food coloring and water i've had that method done a couple times so you see what i'm cutting here this is one that i did food coloring and water so i had my daughter drop the water on with a dropper and it turned out like this nice cute little shape so whatever you design just make your coffee filter cut it in half like i'm doing here then you're going to glue this is going to be the bottom part of the boat now you can also use this to dye it yellow and make a sun i did not do that but that if i did this craft again i would totally dye the other one yellow by having my daughter color it yellow and just yellow only and then putting the water on it so this is kind of my rendition of making <laughs> what I think the yellow sun would look like. This is fun though. I like this element. I mean, guys, crafts are what you make it. Just have fun with it, okay? If you're not having fun with it, then you're not doing it right. Okay, so now to make the sale, you're going to uh, take the second filter, put it in half like I just did, <clears throat> and that's the sale. So this is us putting it together look how adorable and then this is the last thing you could make it blue um, and have your coffee filter just be blue and that'll be the water so all I did was I accordion folded it and I'm gluing it on there so it looks like rough seas you see how it's 3d like and it's sticking out teaching my daughter how to draw some birds and then we are done look how cute this turned out fun to do together you will be bonding and having a good old time together she enjoyed this one she's tired though it's bedtime <laughs> all right so everybody knows a uh, mr fix it needs their own toolbox so just like in this picture here and in this picture here josiah has that toolbox all around him so it was befitting that we make a toolbox for our last and final craft so I have a template that I made, here it is. I have this on my website, so go ahead and click that button, the link down below to my website and print this off for free. That's my free gift to you, okay? Have your child color it like my daughter did here and then you're going to put it either against, I would say put it against construction paper like I'm doing and cut it like this. Now, what you're doing by putting it on construction paper is making it more sturdy. Um, so here's the options or you can actually just have it out of construction paper then we're going to use a shoe box to get our toolbox going right so all i did was took some tissue paper i cut it into little strips like this and i'm showing my daughter how to lay it on the glue and here she goes doing her thing looking cute looking cute then she is uh finishing up the box here with her sister and uh, we're gonna let this dry and it gives a paper mache look now finish it off with a lock and then we need a handle and that is it you can put your handle on top of the box right there or you can put it on the top of the box right there we just decided the latter and we wanted to put it on top of the box and uh, we're gonna go ahead and glue this there and fold it up toward the sky and that is your handle now this handle will lift this box a couple times but don't depend on it to keep lifting it okay and i'm also curious guys um if you were to take this a step further and make it a lockable lock box like with a latch on it what would you use um i would actually use a string i would color it or paint it black and put it as the handle at the top and then i would put like a, I would hot glue a um, tack with a string 
and on two sides and that would be the lock to keep it closed but if y'all want to see that let me know in the comment section also tell me how would you lock this and you know if you were to do this craft all right so this is a good way to teach kids about different tools when you are repairing something this is a great way to teach kids about organization and tools and the purpose of a toolbox and fixing things so i highly suggest that you guys do this craft with your kids she loved it there she goes being a risk taker holding that handle <laughs> we know that handle is not meant for it all right guys that is all for today don't forget to go back and watch the two videos also on this book and we have nine crafts in total that you need to all learn how to do so definitely check those other videos out don't forget to check out our author for today miss mckella doing wonderful things on all of her social medias please guys check out this lady if you do not know her and you are a inspiring self-published author or if you are an author you need to know who she is drop down in that description box right now follow her follow her follow her and you know what while you're on instagram go ahead and follow me too there's my handle right here on the video and then you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking that circle in the center and go ahead to click one of these videos so that way you can keep the party going on mr fix it and i'll see you in that next video okay bye